The population mean and standard deviation are given below. Find the required probability and determine whether the given sample mean would be considered unusual. For sample, si sample of n equals 67, so sample size is given. Let me see if I can uh, write these things down because this is sampling distribution. This is not just picking a random observation and finding the probability. This is talking about what if you get a sample of size 67? What's the chance that the sample mean is less than 21.1? Blah, blah, blah. So this is sampling distribution problem. And for sampling distribution of sample mean, uh, we have a slightly different formula for standard deviation, right? So 471, well, give me one second, let me connect this. The mean is the same, okay? Right, we're seeing my... Okay, so do you see how they said mean is 21? So that's the same. But standard deviation, um, I should say standard error. Okay, that is what standard deviation of sampling div. This, the word is so long. All right, so I'll say it. This is standard deviation of sampling distribution of sample means oh dear right now what does that even mean well that means like look the sample size was what sample size was 67 so think about this you go out there and you collect the sample of size 67 so that's my sample one okay, this is my sample one And I go out there and I collect another sample, sample two. So like serum may be in this group, but you know, serum may not be in that group. So I'm, I'm just collecting samples, right? Um, and I keep on doing this. And I take every possible sample of size 67, okay? And I just let this continue, continue this. You know, if I find the, uh, the, the average, if I find the average, I'm gonna have an X bar there, right? If I find an average, this will also have an X bar there, right? And if I find another sample average, that one will also have an X bar. Now notice all these green, blue, and purple X bars, they're gonna be different, you see that? Because in this sample, Saren's in it. In this sample, she's not in it. Samples are all different. That means all these sample statistics are going to be different. So what we are talking about is how these are distributed, how they, um, we're talking about the distribution of these sample means. So when we say standard deviation of sampling distribution of sample mean, what we are doing is we're collecting all these different sample and finding their average and looking at how they are different, how they are, what's their center like, what's their variation is like. So if you're doing something like that, um, there is a formula, there is a formula, and let me go ahead and point that, uh, find that formula for you. Where is it? Probably my Google Drive. Hold on, 5.4. And this is different from just picking one person, right? This is this is about like how samples vary from one to another. Um, I want you to look at this slide right here, if I can find it. Ah, here. So notice the mean of the sample means is equal to the population mean. So when they said mu is 21, I'm just gonna use it, right? The mu is 21. But notice down here, whoopsie daisies, the standard deviation of the sample means, okay? Which is, we're gonna call the standard error of the mean is population standard deviation divided by square root of the sample size. So that's the formula that you have to remember, okay? So look at this for me. So what's the standard error going to be? Okay, I need to do a population standard deviation divided by square root of n. I remember n was 67, wasn't it? So the bottom of the fraction will be 67 in this problem. But what is the population standard deviation? Oh, they gave that to us, 1.22. 
So I'm going to use the mean of 21, but I need to know what whatever this is. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and type this into a scientific calculator, okay? Um, square root of, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. 1.22 divided by square root of 67. Wasn't that it? All right. Hit enter. Um, that's it. 0 0.149. I'm just going to write that down. 0 0.149. 0 0.149. And these are the two numbers that you're going to use in um, stat crunch normal calculators. So let me get there, okay? Um, stat crunch. I need to sign in first so that I can use it. All right. Stat calculator. Oh, whoopsie. Where is it? Stat calculator normal. And I type in the mean of 21. And the standard deviation is not 1.02. That was the population standard deviation. The sample standard deviation is... Uh, I'm sorry. I called the sample standard deviation. I should be more careful. I should say standard error of sample means. They're so wordy, aren't don't you think? 0 0.149. Okay, and that's from that formula that we had to use. Now, what about, what are we trying to find? I forgot. Let's go back. Um, here it is. Um, I don't need to use this. It says, for a sample of n equals 67, find the probability of a sample mean being less than 21. Ah, okay, less than 21. Less than 21 equals 0.5. Oh, no, hold on a second. This is for the regular uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? I think this is it. This is it. 0 0.5. 0 .5. Oh, what do you mean? Come on. I think I did this. Right, hold on. Oh, to 4. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. What did I forget? I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, I'm sorry. It says being less than 21.1. I didn't type the right thing. 21.1. Okay, so that's it. So I have to go ahead and round this up to 0 0.749. I'm going to round that up to 0 0.749. I freaked out for a second. I just didn't read the problem correctly or type in the number correctly. So that's how we can do that problem. They'll give me a part two. Um, now, that is 75%. That's not unusual. Anything less than 5%, anything less than 5% will be considered uh, unusual. But this is 75%. So the sample mean would not be considered unusual because it has a probability that is greater than 5%. So if you got a number that is smaller than 0 0.05, then you have to say that would be considered unusual. But that's how you can do this problem. It's a, it's a difficult one. So if you find another one like that, we can talk about them during class. Or you can also email me about these, okay?